Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here, because as you know, we are making a titanium ultralight anvil. Now that may sound like a complete contradiction in terms, it may very well be a completely silly idea, but we have a project that's gonna require this. So we're making a titanium steak anvil. Thank you for joining us. Before we jump in, let's thank today's sponsor, which is Trade Coffee. Trade, as you know, is a great place to buy some fantastic coffee. But uh, summertime is coming, and as the weather warms up, you have a great another option, which is cold brew coffee. And Trade is now selling plastic-free cold brew bags so that you can make barista quality cold brew coffee yourself. And we are gonna make a little now. So making cold brew is pretty simple after 12 to 18 hours in the fridge. It's now ready. Ooh, that is some good cold brew. This was some Zamboni cold brew. Just remember, the first 100 of you that click the link in the description below are gonna be getting 50% off your first coffee order with Trade when you use code ALEC6. Thank you, Trade, for sponsoring the video. Let's go back in time and continue on with this titanium anvil. So let's get this big old hunk of titanium in the fire and start forging on it. You've already seen at the end of the last episode, we necked down the waist. The next step is going to be forging a little bit down here of what will be the foot and the stake, and then drawing out the horn and the heel. And uh, it is going pretty well. Yeah, that's about it. Surprisingly. Do you remember in the last episode, I was terrified about even being able to forge it. Stuff's like butter. in the step of the anvil. Ooh, there we go. Oh, it's starting to look like an anvil. This is so cool. Whoa! Okay, horn, rough forged in. Step. Rough forged in. Done to see the resemblance. This is going so much better than that steel one I did yesterday. Much, much better. I think the next step is clean up the heel a little bit and then the weight. I'm about to pull it out of the fire for another heat, and what I'm gonna do now is work on the bottom of the anvil. But I've started wearing a respirator because the oxides are putting out a lot of dust, which I have a feeling can't be good.
Just like a lot, that, that's an amp. I cannot believe that. From the piece of junk that I made yesterday to that. Lesson one, titanium. Beautiful material to forge. Super soft. It keeps the heat a much longer time than steel. And I have just had a ton of fun. Overall, super thrilled with how this version turned out. We have a lot of grinding to do though. Grinding titanium is the absolute worst. It, look, it looks beautiful at least, but it's terrible. Well, it looks like I might not have the same fortune for the grinding, but uh, I'm gonna have to get stuck in. So this anvil has a stake, and this stake is meant for it to be driven into the ground. So it's not meant to go in an anvil, it's not meant to go in a vise, but we do need to test this. So we have locked it in the vise, since the forge is here, and the dirt is elsewhere. And we are gonna do a little forging on this little anvil. Not with this hammer though, just for fun. We're actually gonna use a reasonably sized hammer to make a leaf. Impressions on the first heat of the titanium anvil. This thing isn't bad. It's doing just fine. It works great to forge on, and I'm completely blown away that this wasn't a failure video. I was so certain when I was forging this, especially after I made this steel thing that looks horrifying, I was so certain that this was gonna be one of those videos about failure, and about, you know, that's just part of the game, you fail and sometimes you mess up, but apparently, despite the thing that this is rough around the edges, I think it's still a grand success. And I don't think it's a failure video. It's actually a I'm very pleasantly surprised video. The thing looks like an anvil. It looks awesome. I'm super happy. I cannot wait to bring you along on the project that we built this for. This isn't just building a titanium anvil, we're building a titanium anvil. There is something that we are planning to do, an extravagant scheme that requires us to have this here anvil. Before we finish the video, I want to quickly remind you to go to trade. Use my link in the description and use code ALEX6 so that you can get yourself some coffee for 50% off. Obviously, you saw us use their cold brew bags today, which are just fantastic. A great way to make your cold brew coffee at home yourself and to save some money. So thank you, Trade, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following along with this titanium anvil build and the uh, little leaf forging demo too. It's been a pleasure, as always. Cannot wait to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.